It was, Thornburgh was, was a really a great, great case in point about miniseries and novels and miniseries, and, and, and in, this, in this case. The, Warner Brothers had tried to develop it as a feature for a long time and couldn't because it was such an epic and so big and so hard um, to get into a two-hour contest. So they finally gave up and they called me and said, well, you know, we've got this book, it's fan fabulous, do you want to do it as a miniseries? I read it and I went, oh man, yeah, that's great. And then they said, who do you want to do it? He said, we've got so-and-so. And I said, well, let's do it with Walper because I've done stuff with David and I have a great relationship with him. He'll do a great job. And so it began. And oh, Stan Margulies also worked on that one as well. And um, it, was, it, it, it went very smoothly. Uh, it really didn't have a problem until um, we had to add a few hours, I think, in the scripting. And lengthening miniseries is never a fun thing to do. It's always scary to lengthen them. But it went, it went pretty smoothly. We had some bumps in the road on um, casting. It was difficult. Um, not in the, so much Richard Chamberlain, but on the female part, because there were a lot of women who really wanted to play that part. And I lost some friends in <laughs> casting that one. <laughs> but um, it, it, when we do a miniseries, one of the, we shot this, we did not go to Australia. So we were having, how are we going to make this thing look Australia? We'd had this problem in the opening of Roots. When I'd seen the rough cut of Roots, we, it was like a couple of straw tents and some green grass, and that's it. And, and I call Walper back, and I said, God, the thing looks like you shot it in Disneyland. I mean, it doesn't look like Africa, man. I mean, can't you, you you're a documentary guy. You've got some chimps around and stuff like that. And, and can't you, a rhino that goes like this in the water, can't, just cut some of that stuff in the top and, you know, it'll be Africa, which we did, and we were in Africa. So we're doing the opening of um, the same thing on Thornbirds, and I said, he said, I, we're going to shoot in Simi Valley. Well, Simi Valley in exactly Drogheda in, in uh, Thorn in Australia. So I said, well, you know, got to do something. He, so what happened was you see Richard Chamberlain drives up to Drogheda and he gets out and he looks a big vista, very yellowy, browny Australia. And then there's a, um, oh, my, forget those handles. They go bump, bump, jump, jump. Kangaroo. Kangaroo, yeah. thank you. And there's a kangaroo. And you see the kangaroo, this is in dailies, not in the, and the kangaroo goes, um, de -dum -de -dum. and I go, oh, good, Walper, you got a kangaroo, that says Australia. And the kangaroo goes, up one, and boom, passes out. The kangaroo goes, flat, right on its face. <laughs> and then you see people running in, running in, running in. So I'm um, trying to get the kangaroo back up again. And um, what happened was that we had gotten a kangaroo who had been in captivity and had never gone more than 10 feet. <laughs> so he passed out from overexertion. And, but yeah, that's showbiz. Um, <laughs> well, I also have one of the, the genius strokes of that, though, was Barbara Stanwyck. Yeah, uh, she was, yeah, she was great in it. And, and, I, and she added a uh, kind of a gravitas to it that it really needed. And she was very, very good in it. Very good in it. And um, uh, I don't remember quite how that happened. I do know how uh, Rachel, Rachel Ward came to be um, and why some others didn't. We had um, um, we had some problems with it, but basically, Thornbirds went went very smoothly. I think in production, as I remember, um, and Chamberlain was you know wonderful. Absolutely.